Today I have a very unique handmade Dell Custody padlock for you guys. Uh, it's this Titan uh, handmade, as I mentioned, padlock. Uh, I always admire Dual Custody locks. Uh, there are some that are new, you can buy it now, they are a bit expensive and they are very old one from back in the days in uh, Soviet Union and some other countries uh, and uh, they are expensive, very hard to find so I decided to create my own one. Uh, the good thing it's working so you turn the keys clockwise and you remove the shackle and the shackle it's uh, this part is the original one this is uh, hand filing by me uh, it's not pretty but it's working and uh, on the this side this is the original one and this is the nickel plated it's very shiny and fingerprint magnet uh, this is the original part of the lock and this one the shackle is going to here and uh, I decided to drill out and I will show you how I made this one and it's I'm, I'm glad that this is working uh, and the keys are standard Titan keys uh, but with two different beatings uh, interesting beating it's uh, this one is a bit challenging and I think as far as I remember I put uh, security pins in this one I did not put the original pins uh, because the issue with the original one they're a bit longer and when you try to accommodate um, uh, two pair of pins uh, and spring, uh, yeah, I will show you. I will try to pick it and I will show you how I made this one. So let's pick the custom part, the custom made side. So one nothing, two click, three nothing, wait. No, one is binding. So now two. I am in deep full set. I think I put everywhere four four chambers spools i think and everything else it's uh i think uh one it's standard and four spools so it's going to be uh i don't think that's going to work it was built a couple of months ago i think now uh definitely a couple of weeks more than a month so i'll try my best to and uh, sometimes yeah click from three click from four and I'm open change um, so let's do the original part uh, of the lock so click from one two three four five small click deep four set of deep, deep full set of course so now let's see one no two not binding four nothing five I don't remember I'll click from five or I overset something so one it's okay or not I think it's okay two click from two and we're open so here's the shackle I'll try to disassemble it and while I'm disassembling I will try to go through the lock so here's the pinning tray this time red one so let me I think uh, this key was for the for the original part this was the custom made part so let's do this I, I will be I'm not I will not be able to properly uh, disassemble uh, and show you all the pins one by one so uh, this grub screw is pushing the pins left uh, up and down so the, sh the the core will not turn and you cannot remove it so here's that pin that dropped so in this case we can remove this part and the easiest way is to go back put the key and return counterclockwise and then in that case I can remove without dropping all the pins and one pin flew away that's not good I'll try to find it so let me dump everything so because I'm not able to to get them one by one 
So that's the original part. Here are all the spools. Ah, oh, not good. But good. Doesn't matter. I will try to assemble it. this one. And this is the locking part. So let me rearrange a bit. So I rearranged things so you can see all the pins, all the parts of the lock. I'll try to show you how everything is done. So you can see the pins, all of them are uh, the full, the first uh, it's a standard, everything else they're spool and here are the pins uh, for the key pins, you can see them. Uh, and these two parts are uh, blocking the shackle. So so let me show you how I so I drilled this part uh, but this lip it's not present uh, but uh, I put chamfer here so it's like it's sliding and you can see this part I, 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 I needed to like a fault and uh, it's I, I made it work and you can see it's not even center drilled properly it was very hard to drill it and make it really really like a factory So finally I managed to reorganize everything. It was a bit, uh, let's say interesting. So let me go through the through the parts. So the shackle interacting with the locking bars. Here's the, the body. Uh, here's the two keys and the two cores. Uh, Keepings, top and bottom. Uh, drivers, as I mentioned, the first uh, two are uh, standard. Everything else, they are spool and the spring. All of them needs to go inside uh, and that's why I did not put the original uh, pins from uh, that look like this uh, the spool and the standard one they are a bit longer and uh, it the, the lock was working but the problem or the issue with uh, was like the keys was very hard to push it up and probably the springs are uh, contracting very 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 much so it was uh, that's why I decided to put shorter pins and these two uh, pins, brass pins, they are interacting with this groove and uh, it's preventing the core to go outside and uh, uh, it's allowing the core to rotate to 45 degrees only so for both and uh, <coughs> the grub screw it's uh, needed for um, uh, when you tighten down <sighs> hopefully I will not make mess uh, this one, it's uh, when you put it inside, it's spreading up the these two parts, and it's uh, not allowing the the course to be removed. So, <clears throat> yeah, hopefully you like it. I'm glad I have um, at least one um, dual casted lock in my collection, and I'm glad that it's working. I spent probably a day trying to make this maybe more I don't remember but it was very fun I'm really glad that I have it so guys I uh, sure sorry for the short for the longer video I hope you like it um, thanks for watching and have a nice day have a nice speaking and bye bye